the Giro d'Italia is finished, which means I can finally shave off this ridiculous goatee beard. But first, here's our road to the La Corsa Rosa. This is Rapper Race Radio, episode 7. Il Giro d'Italia, la corsa più bella del mondo, è la più dura. Le salite non hanno eguali, lunghe, dure, tremende. Il ciclismo ha cambiato questo paese. È più che un semplice sport. È radicato nella nostra cultura. Coppi, Bart, Pantano. Eleviamo i nostri ciclisti al rango degli dei. Coloriamo il paese di rosa. Ci riversiamo nelle strade per sostenere i nostri idoli. Partecipiamo alla loro gloria e alle loro sofferenze. Solamente una cosa rimane nella vittoria e nella sconfitta. La passione. So where are you boys from? Yeah, we are from Torino, Italy. Uh, great. This is an Italian game. It's a special Italian game. <laughs> This is a Doppio, a classic Italian coffee. Rafa Race Radio are going to award Doppio awards to our favourite riders throughout the Giro. Salute. Salute. Our first award goes to quick stepper Elia Viviani, who is, much like an espresso, short and very quick. Jacques Oncatil is rumoured to have said that you don't win a Grand Tour on mineral water alone. So we're going to raise this glass to Tim Wellens, a sparkling example of a clean rider who refused to take a TUE and had to go home early. Salute. This aperitivo represents the bubbly ray of sunshine that is Esteban Chavez, who started off well, but then didn't quite have the goods towards the end. How is it? This tart of the day is dedicated to Fabio Aru for his tasty time trial. It must have been lemon because it left a bitter taste. <laughs> uh, smooth, creamy and highly caffeinated. The cappuccino can only be Eurosports Juan Antonio Flesher. We love you, Juan. This award's for you. See you at the tour. This dull piece of toast goes to Pelo Bilbao and Patrick Conrad. Both of them finished in the top 10 without being seen throughout the entire three weeks. So we're going to split it down the middle for both of them. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's classy. This Negroni is for Tom de Moulin. Classic, timeless, beautiful. Cheers. This bittersweet digestivo goes to Simon Yates. 13 days in pink, unlucky for some. In the end, he'd bitten off more than he can chew. I can only imagine the heartburn. How could we forget Mr. Christopher Froome, the Maglia Rosa? So this Gelato d'Italia award is for him. But with the impending investigation, will the result stand or will it melt away? Vincenzo Nibali, he comes from Sicily. He climbs so easily, not like you and me. In two weeks' time, Rafa Race Radio at the Ovo Energy Women's Tour. See you there.